Hi, boys and girls. My name is Marilyn Smith, and I'm going to be your new teacher for this class. You can call me Miss Smith, okay? Let's get over a few rules while we're talking here. Um, when I ask a question, I want you to raise your hand because that tells me that you know the answer, or at least you're going to attempt to know the answer, okay? And listen carefully for the question so you'll know what I'm asking. I'm going to take you to South Africa. Well, we're not really going to South Africa, by the, but by the study that we're doing, we're going to know far more about South America than you probably have never heard. Well, South Africa is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean, also by the Indian and the Southern Oceans, which greatly impact, impact um, the climate of the country. South Africa is also impacted by several currents, and one of the currents go to, goes to the west to give that area um, cooler temperatures, and it also helps contribute to the dryness in the western part of South Africa. South Africa's topography or landmass and plant life are many of species. You can find in the topography, you can find savannas, grasslands, scattered bushes, deserts, shrubs, and trees. The country also has more than 20,000 types of flowers. Now, I have a question for you, and if you will raise your hand, if you know the answer, I'll let you know, I'll point to you and let you know who would answer. Okay, what is one of the topography uh, characteristics of South Africa? You over here. Correct, they have grasslands. They also have, does somebody else know what else they have? Over here, savannas, um, scattered bushes, desert, shrubs, and trees. Now, who remembers the 20,000 types species of what? What 20,000, what do they have? Flowers, that's right. That's wonderful. You're doing a good job. Animal life in Africa is diverse. There are more than 200 species of mammals, more than 800 species of birds, and more than 100 species of snakes. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of snakes, isn't it? Okay, let me ask you a question about that paragraph. Animal life in South Africa is diverse. How many species of mammals do they have? Exactly, 200. How many species of birds? Does anybody remember? Okay, you try. Okay, how many? 800, exactly. And more than 100 species of what? What's the animal? I knew you'd remember that one. Snakes. More than 100 species of snakes. Okay, South Africa has many national parks, most of which specialize in protecting a certain animal species. For example, there's a park called the Mountain Zebra National Park. Help, it helps protect the endangered mountain, Cape Mountain Zebra. Okay, now tell me what animal the Zebra, Mountain Zebra National Park helps protect. Anybody know? That's correct. It's in the name. It's Zebra. Okay. The Cape Town Carnival. Oh, what a fun place to be. Let's think about that for a minute and what they do there. It's held in the city of Cape Town in March, month of March. The event celebrates African identity with a parade, musicians, costumes, and performers. Oh, that would be fun to go to. It really would. Now, let me see how well you were listening to that. Where is the Cape T 
Town Carnival held. That's in the name too, isn't it? It's Cape Town. And it's done in the month, month of what? You're right, it's March, the month of March. Now this event celebrates African identity. What are the ways they celebrate the African identity? With what things? Can anybody name one? Exactly, one. Can anybody name another? You're right, that's what it is. Okay, parade, musicians, anybody have another one? You knew that one, didn't you? Great, great, you did a good job. I've had such a good time teaching y'all today. We're going to have some great studies to do in the next couple of weeks. And so I'll be glad to see you again. For now, bye-bye.